Sport geht ab. Fault called. 30-15. Forty fifteen. Fault. Game to Gonzalez. Hood leads by five games to three. First set. Fifteen love. <coughs> Fifteen all. Fifteen, thirty. Thirty all. Forty, thirty. Game and first set to home. Six three. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Thirty fifteen. Thirty all. Thirty forty. Juice. First service. Vantage Gonzalez.
15 love. Thirty, love. Forty, love. Game to home. Let first service. That fifteen all. Thirty, forty. Second serve. Advantage code. The game's eight all, second set. Love fifteen. Love thirty.
15, 30. Thirty all. Forty thirty. First service. Games all, second set. Fifteen love. Forty love. Lou, tonight we've seen you here in professional tennis. How do you compare your game now as to when you were playing as an amateur? Well, I think that uh, I still play uh, uh, a similar type of game, David, but uh, I think that uh, overall I'm a little more consistent than I used to be, and I think that uh, I make less mistakes, and I think that this is where I've improved. Any, any particular phase of the game, apart from the less mistakes, that you feel you have improved upon? Well, I think that uh, I play the, the right shot at the right time now, whereas before I always, when I was an amateur, I'd have two or three opportunities before I could play the right shot. And uh, now, if you, if you, have the, you don't get very many opportunities in the pro game, so you've got to make, it, make uh, good while the sun shines. You've got to play the good ones all the time. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We've seen some great tennis here tonight, Lou. Um, how much is this type of tennis competitive play, how much of it is exhibition? Well, there's no uh, ex exhibition uh, connected with the professional tennis, David. We all play on a percentage of the gate, whichever our, what, whatever amount that may be that our professional association gets. And uh, we have an incentive which I think uh, produces uh, better tennis because uh, the winner of each particular match uh, gets about... Uh, if you lose a match, you get 15%, and if you win the match, you get an extra 7.5%, which takes you up to 22.5%. So in actual fact, you're winning about a third more prize money than, than uh, the fellows that you beat, plus the fact that you always like to walk off the court a winner anyway. 
So you're pretty serious. That's right. The bits of laughter and the horseplay we've seen is just natural temperament coming out, is it? Well, I think that uh, I don't think there was a great deal in the singles, even though uh, Pancho is due to retire in a couple of days. Um, I think there was possibly a little bit more in the doubles. There's nothing, uh, no prize money connected with the doubles at all. And I think that uh, the people, if it's not carried too far, uh, I think they uh, quite enjoy it, which I think you'll agree with. You say that Pancho Gonzalez is retiring again in a couple of days. Well, he's, uh, he's going back to Los Angeles. He's trying to, uh, to get a tennis club started uh, in the Los Angeles area. And uh, he has to go back and uh, make the final arrangements on the club. And uh, he's been playing now for about uh, four and a half, five months. And uh, none of us thought that uh, after being out of uh, top-class tennis for two and a half years that he'd come back and play as well as he did. But uh, I think, as you saw tonight, he still hits the ball pretty well. Not much doubt about an, that. For an old fellow, anyway. Lou, what about the life of a professional tennis player? Is it the glamorous life we hear so much about? Well, I think that uh, the, uh, the, the compensation that you get out of it, David, is that uh, you can more or less uh, secure yourself and your family for, uh, for the rest of your life. And, uh, but it's not all uh, beer and skittles, as they say in Australia, because you're playing, I would say, on the average, over a period of about six or seven months of the year, about six nights a week. And you're never in the same place more than 24 hours. You're usually in a train or a bus or a uh, car or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. And uh, you're continually travelling. You never really get your suitcase unpacked, but... Uh, if you're young and healthy, it's all you can stand up to it. Well, you've been playing it a night from half past seven till what, about midnight now. Yes. What, in fact, happens for the rest of this week? Well, we play uh, tomorrow evening in uh, Cardiff. Then we go to Glasgow. And on Thursday, we leave uh, to go to Hanover, where we play uh, a four-day tournament with uh, the rest of the fellows that are playing in England just at present. After that, we go to uh, Italy for ten days. And we play nine days out of the ten days that we're in Italy. And then we go to South Africa for three weeks and we play 19 days out of 21 down there. And then uh, I'm going home to see my wife and three children. Difficult enough remembering that itinerary, let alone playing it, I should Well, think. it gets easy after a while. Now, what about this business of open tennis, the professional game and the amateur game? Well, I think that uh, there are a lot of things that, uh, that uh, have to be worked out as far as uh, uh, the amateurs and professionals playing together. But I do feel that uh, the public... Uh, would like to see an open tournament whereby the best tennis players in the world could get together and play a tournament, uh, whether it be two or three tournaments the first year or five or six, but I think they should at least give it a go, and if it works out well, well then you can make a lot of adjustments after that. But uh, as, as I said before, I think that it's something that the public would like to see the top amateurs and the top professionals playing together on the, on the same courts. Did you have that same view when you were an amateur? I think so. I think that uh, when uh, uh, to make it uh, to make a go of it, and then when I was good enough to turn professional, well, I, I took the first opportunity, and I've been a pro now about seven years. Eight, this is my eighth year. No regrets. No regrets at all. We want to get some sleep. Thanks from all of us for giving us a feast of tennis here in the West Country. Thank you very much, David. Good night. Good night.